Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Frequency Intel where I'm going to be sharing the frequencies and my read on the current frequencies and energies that are present and supporting us this week. Thank you so much for joining me and contributing your frequencies to this bandwidth of information that I am sharing with you all. So the themes that are coming through, there are two actually this week that are coming through that are really wanting to be shared in support of our expansion into higher states of consciousness, into our true selves. And so the first theme that is relevant, I think, that is so beautiful is really expounding on the what is frequency and frequency is a bandwidth of information and there are a lot of energies that create and make up a bandwidth of information and so there is a continuation of the current frequencies that are here to support us because frequency energy is not static. It is a continual morphing and melding of information, of consciousness, of energy that is the divine mind. And that is not in a static form. It is in a continual growth and expansion. And we are moving through this great awakening of humanity that is a, a portal of growth and expansion into higher states of consciousness, out of lack and limitation, and into expansion that is limitless potential, that is love. And so understanding that we are in a continuation and the energies, the frequencies that I'm reading are, are morphing. So they're, they're, they're not static and they're a little bit elusive this week. So you may be feeling like one minute you're thinking one thing and the next minute you're thinking something else. And that is not a distraction. That is simply the, these energy that is present, that is morphing and expanding at such a high rate of, of frequency that it's hard to hold on to anything. So if you feel like, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm, I'm expanding so rapidly, I can't really locate myself or, or like nail anything down, that is completely normal and it's really important that we don't go into a judgment around that about ourselves. And so to stay in the bandwidth of open awareness and that leads me into the second theme that is really coming through so beautifully for us this week. I'm, I'm super elated to share this with you. As I was tapping into these energies, I, I felt a portal of awareness open in my energy field. And I asked to understand this portal of awareness that has opened. And what I, what I received was a portal of awareness has been opened in each and every individual on the planet to be able to access um, our own energy fields through our state of our personality or our ego personas that we have been living through because what are we doing here? We're moving from living from our ego personality, from our story, into living from our true self, our original mind, and being able to be human and divine, human and, and, and soul, soul and personality as one unified whole self that operates from the frequency of the fifth dimension of limitless potential and 
and alignment with resonance and entrainment of our soul's expansion. So this portal of awareness is giving us access to our stored cellular memories and our DNA that are giving us the ability to purify what is disharmonic inside of us, our thoughts, feelings, um, and, and actions that are no longer harmonic to where we are going, to what we are transitioning into. And this, this ability to purify what is not harmonic is giving us access to bringing a state of balance back into our, our lived experience, balance into our awareness as the observer of the life that's being lived and the one experiencing the, the life being lived. And so this is what resonance and entrainment is all about. So Resonance and entrainment means that we are connecting into our soul's signature and resonating with the truth of our soul at a level of expansion into our, our pure divine awareness of ourselves as powerful beings that are creating life through us and that we have the ability to tap into the potentials of creation that are harmonic with what we want to be experiencing. We want to be experiencing limitless potential. We want to be experiencing harmony in our relationships. We want to be experiencing being fully resourced in every area of our lives so that we have the ability to rest when we feel that we need rest and to take action when we feel fully resourced and aligned with the actions that our true self is bringing through as potentials for us to create from. So, I love this portal of awareness opening for each and every one of us. And I want to invite us in this moment, as you're listening to me share this channeled wisdom with you, um, to just drop in and to either close or lower your eyes and to connect in to feel where that portal of awareness has been opened in your energy field. And you may see, hear, feel, or know where that portal is. And we do this simply through our imagination. So I want to invite us into this for, for one minute. And to close or lower your eyes at this time, and I'm going to go into a moment of silence and, and invite us to feel into, see into, sense into where this portal of awareness has, has opened in your energy field. And I want to invite you back into conscious awareness and to um, invite you to continue to keep your eyes closed or lowered and to listen from that space or to come fully back into consciousness and awareness and um, listening from a really alivened, activated, open space 
of connection here or to listen from that deeper space of awareness inside of you. Um, and to really take a minute to take in what you experienced. Maybe you experienced nothing. And that's perfectly beautiful and fine. And to know that that awareness of that portal of awareness being accessible to you may come when you are doing something rather than listening to this frequency intel. Maybe you are in uh, a state of play. Maybe you are in a state of quiet internal space. Maybe you're talking. Maybe you're writing. Maybe you're cooking dinner. Maybe you are um, playing with someone in your life. Um, and if you experience something in this moment, to just take it in a little more deeply into your awareness and record the information, the awareness, the insight that is arising in this moment. So I love that before we can come into harmonization, meaning that our, our desires match our lived reality, before we can come into the awareness of that happening, we have to be able to access these deeper levels of consciousness within ourselves. This is part of the awakening process that we are going through, that we are being supported by the divine mind, by spirit, by consciousness, by God source, by the zero point field, our cosmic best friend, the divine mind of all knowing, all seeing, all oneness. We have to be able to access these deeper levels of consciousness within us. And we are being so generously loved and supported by this portal of awareness being gifted to each and every one of us. And to understand that we are also being given this portal of awareness opening in the fullness of consciousness, meaning in the collective stream of consciousness that we can also access ourselves as the individual I am and ourselves as the oneness of all that is. So coming back into this this beautiful awareness of the law of one and if you haven't investigated the law of one or the the um, emerald tablets, the information that is in the emerald tablets, that's ancient wisdom of how to be a fully activated, fully awakened, fully conscious human being creating life here on earth, then I encourage you to look into the law of one. There's a ton of information out in the public media channels about those, um, those awarenesses. So I want to invite you into, um, checking into your internal world and asking what do I need in this moment to help me for help me more fully understand and awaken to my true self so the energy that's present that I wanted to bring awareness to um, that is here to support us this week and ongoing as the continuation of the frequencies unfold for us is what is repressed? What did we consciously or unconsciously repress in our awareness in this lifetime? What I was feeling into before I jumped on sharing this um, frequency intel live is the the awareness of grief. And then what followed soon after that was the awareness of sadness. And what followed soon after that was the awareness of happiness. And I want to touch into brief, briefly sharing with you that language is a frequency technology. Language as we use it here on the planet is our the way that we create Language as frequency, so 
each and every word has a particular frequency to it. And so this, a way that we can use language to help us in our awakening and expansion is simply tapping into a particular word and feeling the frequency of that particular word for us as the individual that we are. And the content of that frequency, the material that's there, is this material that's been stored in our cellular memory, our, our emotional bodies, and our mental bodies, and I'm speaking of energy bodies here, and our physical body that holds our, our physical cellular structure. So as we connect with these particular words, these technologies, these frequency technologies, we connect into the frequency of grief, it gives us the ability to tap into the awareness or the observation of what we have repressed or stored in our structures, in our DNA, that we haven't known how to be present with, we haven't known how to process, and we haven't known how to internalize the wisdom from the experience of that particular frequency. So I'm speaking of the frequency of grief in particular right now. So just connecting into the frequency of grief and allow for what arises when you actually just sit with the frequency of grief, the frequency of, of sadness, and the frequency of happiness. And simply being present with what is arising so that we can allow for the denser frequencies that we've repressed grief, sadness, shame, guilt, misunderstanding, beliefs of our inadequacy, beliefs of our not enoughness, to arise to the surface so that we can be present with them and then allow them to dissipate out of our cellular structures, both energetic and physical, so that we can then come back into a higher state of resonance and entrainment with the frequencies of our ability to create, our ability to know ourselves as wholly worthy, wholly valuable, wholly loved and loving. So this brings us back into our true original divine mind of knowing ourselves as love, knowing ourselves as the fractal of, of the creator that we are. And this gives us the ability to stay attuned to the resonant frequencies that align with our soul's desires and our, our ability to reach our soul's fullest potential. And what this is doing is it's helping us dissolve the ego constructs of attachment to our story. And why do we want to do this? Because our ego is attached to usually the negative aspects of our story, the parts of us that were not seen, that were not valued, that were not met or supported in the way that we needed to be supported when we were little. And that creates a storyline or a perspective that we live our life through until we begin to wake up and recognize, wait a minute, I'm framing my experiences through the negative lens of my ego persona wanting to keep me small, to keep me safe, because I haven't felt safe to fully express myself. And one of the ways that we do this is we negotiate our happiness, we negotiate our joy, 
We negotiate our love and it becomes something that we contract around and don't give ourselves the permission to fully express through, which limits our ability to connect into the frequencies of higher states of consciousness and, and access our fullest potentials as the soul that we are that keep us from knowing what, our, what, our, what we value what we want to be creating from. And so that is the energy of repression that we're being given the ability to access so that we can be present with it and then transform it. So I hope that was really clear and that you feel supported in, in understanding that what we've repressed has gold inside of it. What we have put in the shadow has our light inside of it. So it's really vitally important at this time that we, that we give ourselves permission to acknowledge our tenderness, that we give ourselves permission to acknowledge our vulnerability, and that we give ourselves permission to surround ourselves in a frequency of unconditional love, of unconditional compassion and unconditional acceptance and to invite in our teams of light, our entourage of light, the beings who are non-physical that are here to support us, to connect into our galactic families and give them permission to come in a little bit closer and to support us as we move through these, this portal of awareness and these lower, denser frequencies that we stored in our DNA, in our cellular structures that we are, that we are transmuting at this time, that we, are, that we are transcending at this time to help us be able to maintain a higher bandwidth of frequency as our lived experience to literally be able to choose to remain in a, a state of, of stasis in the fifth dimensional frequencies that we are moving into creating from now and to be able to traverse into the third dimensional reality of the human experience and the fifth dimensional reality of the new human experience that we are becoming homo luminous. We are moving into our light bodies and moving out of the density of our carbon-based bodies and into the lightness of our, of our crystalline-based cellular structures that hold the frequencies of resonance with truth, resonance with love, resonance with the higher states of consciousness, of bliss, of wonder, of awe, of happiness, of joy, of knowing ourselves as the potential to create worlds within worlds. And so the strategy that I think is really beautiful besides all of the others that have come through in this transmission is to tap into the archetypal energy of the artist and to recognize if you have a contraction around the word creation or the, around the word artist and to recognize that that is a a, a um, contraction from the programming around these words, these particular words of creator or artist, and to remove through your intention the corruption of this intelligence, the frequency of the word artist, and to simply through your intention to say, I'm no longer willing to allow this terminology, this frequency, to be corrupted in my consciousness, I am now choosing to move the frequency of the technology of the word artist into the highest state available 
and to be able to access the archetypal energy that I am that is the artist because what the artist archetype is that is so vitally powerful for us at this time is the power to observe that is the original frequency of the word artist is we are accessing the highest relevant power to observe, to become aware. And this gives us the power to transform our lived experience. How does it do that? It gives us the ability to become more fundamentally aware of our true reality the truth of who we are, and to see where we are holding dissonant frequencies or belief systems or constructs or concepts that are no longer supporting us. And to be able to become aware of them, observe them, and to begin to ask questions, to look deeper, and so one of the questions I like to ask when I'm doing this deeper investigative, self-investigatory work to be able to find why I'm contracted, why I don't feel available, why my heart doesn't feel open right now, why I don't feel safe, is to, to connect into whatever is arising for me that makes me feel contracted instead of expanded and open and to ask what is underneath this that I'm not aware of? What is the information that I stored in my subconscious that I hid so successfully from myself that I'm not aware of how I'm creating my own suffering, that how I'm creating my own disconnection, how I'm creating that I'm not accepted, that I'm not loved, that I'm not being chosen, that I'm not being valued. And, and then the, the other potential that's here when we connect into and we clear the, the archetype of the artist energy is to, to be open to receive the streams of consciousness that we haven't had access to that are buried in our subconscious and our unconscious minds and to accept what is arising so that we have the ability to choose to change what is not true, what is out of alignment. And so I really want to invite all of us into using this portal of awareness to reconnect to, if we've disconnected from, our artist archetype and to embody that frequency, the highest octave of the artist archetype, and to begin to activate our creative energy. This is, so we want to drop into the sacral chakra and to give ourselves permission to find out what is covering over our creative energy, our erotic energy, and I'm not speaking of our sexual energy, I'm speaking of our artistic, creative, our, our fullest potential of our, our prana, our life force energy that we can then access and pull up from our sacral complex, our pelvic bowl, and through our solar plexus, our our expansion of our human self and then up into our heart chakra and filter it through that level of compassion, of reverence for all life, and then express it through our, th our throat chakras, our expression portal, I like to call it, and to create with. So that's the strategy that is most alive and active and wanted to be shared and and for us to give ourselves permission to really utilize this 
portal of awareness that is open, that the frequencies, the beings of light who love us unconditionally have opened in each one of our individual auras for this week. And the, the way to utilize this that I'm going to be accessing is to give myself a lot of space and a lot of gentleness to allow this to open for me and for me to be present with myself, me to give myself that generous quality of softness and compassion that we need in order to transform these lower, denser um, ego constructs and personas that we created to keep ourselves safe and to recognize that we are in this transformation time on earth. And so that feels like everything that wanted to be shared in this frequency intel with you this week. And I want to open a portal of love beyond the realms of the human experience and to invite us all in to marinate in this portal of love, this portal of complete aligned divine acceptance and gentleness and softness of compassion and reverence that we all really need because it's really challenging to be here on earth at this time. And the more that we gather in these beautiful circles, the more that we connect into this beautiful way of connecting that we have either in person or here in this timeless space that we're in in this moment is to know that you are wholly loved, that you are wholly valued, that you are wholly worshipped for your courage, for your strength, for your gentleness, for your, your tenderness, for your sensitivity, for your empathic abilities, that you are valued and so needed here on earth and that it is safe to be who you truly are. So that's my love and encouragement to all of you this week. And I want to thank you for being here and staying through to the end of this transmission. And I want to encourage you to support me in creating these frequency intels by liking and subscribing and hearting and sharing your frequency in these portals and to... Um, to just be you. That's the greatest gift that you can give to the world is to be you and to value and, and appreciate yourself. And so I want to close with that um, reminder and to let you all know that I love you and if you have questions or comments that you would like to um, have some feedback on, um, I am so willing and open to um, read your questions and to share what comes through. And uh, I love connecting with you that way. So please do connect with me and let me know that you're, you're out there and that you're listening. And that's the greatest way that you can support me to continue to um, share this content with you. I love you. Mwah.